What's up legends? Let's go Pokemon card hunting today. And uh, I've been seeing in some local Facebook groups that they've been getting some restocks at different stores on some different days, kind of with this release of celebrations. So even like on a Monday morning, it sounds like some Walmarts are getting some stuff. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go out. Today's Tuesday. Let's uh, check out some different stores. We're gonna go to Target first. Oh, I need to these two. There we go. Wow, guys, I have got to hand it to the Pokemon Company. They really planned for this celebration. We found stuff just days after release. Again, today is Tuesday, so. This is pretty crazy. I'm super excited for what we got today. Let's, you know, we don't have to waste time uh, hunting anymore. Let's go open this stuff up. All right, guys, faked you out there. Well, after I went to Target here, I actually took a picture of what was stocked here and posted it in our local Facebook group. And my friend Logan saw it, and we were actually gonna meet up today. And he said, hey, before we meet up, I'm gonna quickly head to Target and get some stuff. So what I thought we could do is go and surprise him. I'm gonna go there a little bit ahead of him. Just to let you know a little bit about Logan, I actually met him on Facebook Marketplace and it was actually filmed on one of these videos. Some of you remember that. He's also given me some additional vintage mystery packs. So yeah, uh, we've become good friends. And uh, Logan, he really mostly loves vintage cards and then a few of the specialty sets like Hidden Fates, Shining Fates, Evolutions. Um, so he hasn't really been buying any of the other sets that have come out this year, but he's going all in on Celebration. So I'm curious to see what he's gonna get. So yeah, let's go surprise him. Hey, look who it is. <laughs> Hi. How are you doing? How are you, man? It's good to see you. Good to see you as well. I figure I'd just surprise you. <laughs> Come see what you get. <laughs> and unfortunately, there's not much left. I Literally, I was here and there was a guy like kind of on the phone, like over by this section. I feel like he was probably like calling up some other like scalper buddies. I, I could be wrong, but that's... <laughs> that's the feeling that you've got. And I saw with your post on um, Facebook Marketplace or the group, I think that that's obviously going to send some people here, yeah, uh, relatively quickly. True, but but there's still there's still plenty here. True, um, that's true. You know, I don't necessarily need a uh, an ETB. I still got to give you the one I got for you. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to hopefully grabbing a, a Zard out of that. <laughs> what all did you pick up today? Uh, just the I got this and the Sylveon one. Just picked up one of each of these. Yeah. Okay. Seems like a decent value. I guess you think two fifty for each celebrations pack. Five dollars for for the regular packs. Yeah, precisely. I know that's the amount that I was calculating with the ETBs. So literally, we were just going to kind of give up at the front, um, but we decided to check back in the electronic section and the toy section. And look at this. Plenty more. All right. Well, I'm so glad that I came back to surprise Logan because we actually found out that. Right now, Target is running a deal where if you spend uh, $50 on anything toy related, even Pokemon cards, surprisingly, you actually can get $10 off. So what I kind of had to do is actually, um, I had to go back and return what I got earlier and then add one more thing to my, uh, to my bag basically to uh, add up to 50, but totally worth it. That's a great deal. So I think it's um, available until the 16th. So make sure you guys take advantage of that as well. But anyway, let's go open some of this up. All right, guys, if it's your first time here, my name is Luke. And after 20 years, I got back into collecting Pokemon cards to chase that feeling of nostalgia from my childhood. So I hope you'll come along the journey with me by hitting that subscribe button below. But we got a great pickup today, and I really just got to hand it to the Pokemon company. They've done a great job with the celebrations release. They've really made sure that um, they've had stuff stocked on the shelves, even though the scalpers are out there. A lot of us are getting some stuff and pulling some great stuff. So we did go back and pick up the Zacian box. Uh, but I think we're gonna, what we're going to open up today is the Sylveon, Dark Sylveon, and Lance's Charizard box. Let's get into this. Okay, so let's start off with 
the Dark Sylveon V box first. Get this open here. Interesting, this comes with a little, little poster thing. Information about it, I guess, I don't know. Got some packs. Check out our jumbo card here. And a very nice promo card. I really like that a lot. Check out the condition real fast. Yeah, not bad centering. A little heavier on this side, just by hair on the back. Kind of the same thing, but um, not too bad actually. Well, a little bit of whitening up there. But I'm sure I'll be able to get more products like this in the future. And uh, let's see if I can get this open. So you'll see my thumb has a band-aid on it. Actually was slicing some lemons and uh, sliced the tip of my thumb there. So that was kind of unfortunate. Um, it's not too bad, but I'm trying just to not get blood on the cards. I feel like that would not be a good experience. There is that code card for you. And now to our packs. Oh, nice. Got Darkness Ablaze. That's a good one. Battle Styles. Okay. So maybe we'll alternate a little bit here. Maybe we'll do Battle Styles first. I know Logan is, um, he's gonna try and sell a lot of these extra packs, which is not a bad idea. I might have to do that for some of these, like the Battle Styles and the Voltage. I wonder if there's a market out there for that. All right, so, oops, code card, but not a bad thing. It's definitely harder with the Band-Aid on. You don't realize how much you use your left thumb. All right, we got Metal Energy, Firo, Heatmore, Phoebe, Mangy, Ponyard, Blipbug, Shinx, Esper, the Reverse Marowak, pretty cool, and a nice Tapu Koko VMAX. It's not bad at all. Get a quick sleeve on that. Quick glance at the condition here. Pretty good centering. A little bit of whitening, a little dot down here. Very little, but definitely more than you would hope for from a fresh pack. All right, let's get into a celebrations pack. We got four of these in these boxes. And of course, like I said, two additional packs non-celebrations packs. Tell you what, I think I'm gonna have to cut these open because this is just not working out with my thumb. Kind of hurting it a little bit. All right, here we go guys. Let's get some good stuff in here. Dialga to start off. Xerneas. Vettel and Professor's Research. Okay. Let's do Darkness Ablaze next. Wouldn't it be crazy if we got a Charizard out of here and a Charizard from our other packs? Looks like maybe not because it's green. But if you want that code card, here you go. Pam Poor. Spinarak, Boon Sweet, Dunspree, Electrike. Oh, I forgot to do the <laughs> the card trick. I don't even know what I'm doing right now, but whatever. Reverse Dug Trio and Gramble. You can see what we got there. So nothing that special. All right, but what we really care about, what we hope to actually get something from, is in here. Come on, man. We got this for you. And first card. 
Lugia Hollow. Great one. Probably one of my favorite regular hollows. We got Palkia. And oh yes, we got it. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. And underneath that we have hey, it's actually and B. Didn't I actually need that one too? So Yes, all right, we're on our, on our way to getting the big three. We just need the Charizard now. So Logan, he actually pulled all three of the big three in his first few openings. Pretty insane. All right, let's look at this. Condition is not bad, pretty bottom heavy, but Left to right is pretty good. On the back. Yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah, I don't see any whitening. Oh, yes. This set is so awesome. The fact that you can get stuff like this. All right, guys, so we gotta put it in a top loader. Okay. And we gotta go ahead and stick him up here. And, oh yeah. Can't forget Zashian V. It's a cool one too. Centering is not great, but whatever. All right, let's keep this rolling. Yikes, look at that. I kind of hope I don't pull anything there. <laughs> All right, so we have Xerneas, cool card. Reshiram. And, hey, nice, a hollow Dawn, Dawn fan. Are you a fan of Dawn fan? You know, I'm, you know, whatever about it, but it is a subset card, so happy to get it. I guess it was a good card in the game, but I don't know. I feel like this is a purely collector set, so I don't quite understand why they prioritized that. But whatever, we also have, hey, another Pikachu, nice. And this was the one that had the big white spot there, so that is sad, very sad. But I love that card. Second one we pulled of that. I will say, I'm thinking about get, getting some of these graded eventually because especially we, especially because we have some multiples of them. Um, it kind of allows me to stick one in my master set binder and then maybe send another one off for grading. I think that would be cool. I haven't graded any cards yet because it's been ridiculously expensive and going to take a long time to get back, but hopefully we can get to a point where that's a little more accessible. Yeah, great condition on this Dom fan. This uh, Sylveon V tin, I mean, box is not disappointing. All right. Like I'm almost having more trouble getting it out of the sleeve by cutting it than I was by ripping it, but at least it's not risking my thumb start bleeding again. Nobody wants to see that. We have Cosmog, Yvetel, and Palkia. Nothing crazy on that one. And also, hey, Zamazenta V, cool. Our second pull of that. I guess I'll get able to see which one has better condition between this one and the other one. Awesome, all right. We still got a whole other box, guys. We've already pulled some amazing stuff. Another Darkness Ablaze. And we got another one of these little poster, pamphlet, things, brochures, Psst, I don't know. And then our Jumbo Lance's Charizard. Yeah, 
Yeah. It's an interesting thing where I like the Charizard artwork, but I don't love this Lance artwork. But hey, Charizards always hold their value pretty well. Yikes, the centering is not great on this one. Probably will have to snag another one at some point. Do you battle styles again? I think that's a good method to getting these open. Nice and clean. There's that. So I don't know if you guys can hear, but my con our contractor is still working on our house, working on our bathrooms right now, and he's making a lot of noise, sawing in the background. Let me know if you can hear that or not on the camera. But anyway, the darkness. Cedra. Galarian, Slowpoke, Fomantis, Remoraid, Cubone, Ponyard, Hey Reverse Houndor is a good one. I like that one. And hey, Flapple V, not bad. Well, I can't complain that we're actually we've actually got some decent hits from the non-celebrations packs in most of these products, so that's cool cool that it's not just like a throwaway pack. I'd really love to get something good in this pack. You all know what it is. Okay, here we go. Darkness. Again. Pokemon breeding, breeders nurturing. Combuskin. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that, so I guess it evolves from Torchic which I guess evolves to um, Blaziken. Combuskin, interesting. Staravia, Cufant, Sinistee, Phoebus, Passimian, Fletchling, Reverse Rookie D, and... Okay, Hollow Darkrai. I guess we'll stick a sleeve on that a little bit later, but... Let's get into these again. There we go. Got this down to a science now. We got Ebetel, Xerneas. Oh, no way. Another one. That's crazy. <laughs> and guys, if you haven't seen the video yet, go back and watch our ETB opening, our very first Celebrations opening, we hit two, two Blastoise. And now we're hitting two Venusaur, this is awesome. And underneath there, could we get anything even better than this? Golden Mew maybe? Professor's Research. Again, like I said, it's, it's such a cool thing when you get to pull two in one, in one opening. I'm kind of wanting to keep both of these, honestly. Again, I'll probably like pick one for my binder and maybe one I'll get graded eventually. Okay. Keep it rolling. Yikes. Some pretty bad whitening on some of these cards. We got Hollow Reshiram. Ebetel, and a Hollow Lugia, so nothing crazy, and a Lunala. Another. Zekrom, a very cool one. Dialga, Ebetel, and professor's research okay guys i mean i can't really complain we've got some great stuff already so if we don't hit anything in here i am content but you just never know okay here we go guys last pack magic hollow groudon Cosmog, 
and Evetzel. Okay, nothing in the subset spot. Could we get maybe the Gold Mew or Full Art Professor's Research? That would be nice. We got, hey, another Full Art Pikachu. Not bad at all. And this one, definitely in better condition than the other one. Again, guys, make sure you join our Discord server because I'd love to see your hits from celebrations. Nice, love that one. And yeah, I forgot about that one. Very cool. And most important of all, Yo, guys, <laughs> this is insane. Well, guys, thank you so much for your support. If you like this video, I think you'll want to check out one of these videos on screen next. We do a lot of Pokemon card hunts and openings on this channel, so be sure and subscribe so you don't miss any in the future. And I just want to let you know that no matter what you've done in your past, God loves you and he has an awesome plan for your life. I'll catch you next time.